Broadcasting from the Golden Spread of Texas, this is The Fred Hughes Show. With each episode, we introduce to you an inspiring person or message to help you grow and unlock your potential in life. I'm Fred Hughes, professional photographer, pastor, teacher, author, and your show host. Thank you for joining us and welcome to this episode brought to you by the Faithful Partners of Decision Ministry. Well, hello there. This is Fred Hughes with another uh, Fred Hughes show for you tonight. And uh, glad to be here. Glad to uh, always, I always love just showing up on Thursday nights and uh, and having either guest or or bringing a word. Tonight, I have a word for you that I think is, uh, is a good word. So we'll get to that in just a minute. Um, I'm so excited about my new book. Um, uh, this one's got the little banner across here. It says not for sale, but your, your copy would not have that if you order one on, on, uh, online, but, uh, it's really nice. I, I've, I'm just real proud of it. I think that, uh, it's going to be the, a, a wonderful book. It's going to minister to a lot of people. Uh, so I, I, in it, I share, uh, basically, um, the plan of salvation for sure. And then uh, go uh, go ahead and and uh, move into the baptism of the Holy Spirit, and so the book is really about those two major subjects. Uh, but then I mix into it what how is it that you have relationship with God? How do you know God? How do you hear God? How do you walk with God? What what exactly is in there? And I hit a few other things along the way, but I believe it it's just called um, beside the still waters. And um, uh, the little subheading down here, uh, uh, pursuing the presence of God. And that's really, you know, what everybody wants. Everybody wants to have a strong relationship with God. Um, But so many of the um, denominational churches these days uh, do not teach about the Holy Spirit. And so, uh, you know, you can't teach what you don't know. And um, that's fine, but if, if you read the scriptures, you should know uh, because it's in there so strong, so so many times. And so, if you're missing out on having the baptism of the Holy Spirit, and yes, that means speaking in tongues. Uh, it's not not that you have to; it's that you get to. It's so wonderful a gift. So, if you'll read my book, I'll I, I'll I'll tell you a lot more about it. So that's. That's good. You can get it on Amazon. Uh, there's a link if you go to uh, our website. Let me put that up right quick. Um, decision1.org. <clears throat> and uh, you, there's a link in there. You can order the book from there. So uh, be blessed. Get that book and uh, read it and then give it to somebody. Uh, share it with somebody you think would it would really help. And uh, kind of pay it forward if you would. But just go ahead right off the bat and order a couple of copies. I th- I'm sure you're gonna you're gonna know somebody that you want to give it to. So, so just do that. Well, I'm gonna kind of teach a little bit tonight. It's not not gonna be long, but it's just gonna be real solid. And I think that one of the things that we need to understand is the value, the purpose, the power of prayer. I mean, of praise. Uh, prayer certainly goes in here with that. But uh, the uh, understanding praise is a really major thing, but it, it most people don't really give it that much um, cadence. And, and so I, I just want to inspire you a little bit tonight with, uh, with a little bit better understanding of what we have in the form of praising God. Praise uh, our ability to praise. He made us so that we can praise Him. He gave us this wonderful gift, and so praise really creates an atmosphere of thanksgiving and expectancy. <clears throat> and let me and go on and just say it also produces an atmosphere of gratitude and grace. Um, praise is is. It's just, it's just a, it's a magnificent, it's a magnificent 
a gift, really, that, we, that we're given and an opportunity for us to create the atmosphere that we want to be walking in. So let's just kind of talk about that first. Thanksgiving and expectancy. Those are, those are a couple of things that, it, that it, it just creates that atmosphere. So when I'm grateful, I go into uh, situations and, and I have this grateful heart. I have this expectant heart that God's going to be doing something. I have, it just creates an atmosphere that you can walk in that is, that is just blessed. It's, it, has the, it has the fullness of God in it. Uh, you, you know, you're, you're not going about doing, doing uh, in, in, in grumbling and complaining and, and voicing such low things <laughs> as sometimes we get off into. <clears throat> and so, you know, if we have a grateful heart, well, then it lightens up our, that atmosphere. It makes that atmosphere really, really strong, and, and it kind of puts an expectancy that God's going to give. God's going to do something good today. I remember um, listening on online to uh, um, Oil Roberts, and he began his show says, "God is going to." Uh, how's that saying? God is going to do something good today. In every way. Anyway, he had a little thing, thing that come in. And it was basically, he says, God, there's an expectancy of, of the fact that God's going to do something good in your life today. That was just such a, such a, um, in my very early walk with, with um, the baptism of the Holy Spirit, I began to kind of link into some of the things that, uh, that were, that I could expect, that I had thought, because I was raised a Baptist, that they passed away. But when I found out that wasn't true, I found out that there was that, that there was this wonderful whole atmosphere, whole new world out there. Uh, I, I my the expectancy of my heart, the gratitude of my heart, just just leaped and bound because I knew that I had I now had something. To look forward to, I knew now that I had some some power, some opportunities that just weren't there before, and so we'll talk about a few of those as we go along. But um, you know, over in in, in um, uh, let's say Proverbs eighteen uh, eighteen verse twenty, it says, "Death and life are in the power of the tongue." Those who love it will eat the fruit thereof. And, you know, it's, it's, if we're giving God praise, if we're opening our mouth and, and giving praise, putting, letting praise escape our heart, come from, coming from our heart to praise and magnify God, to worship Him, um, the expressions of praise and worship, uh, music, the 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 attitude, the atmosphere that that creates, it brings up that expect expectancy in our heart, and we begin to kind of uh, look look toward the you know that's showing up, the manifestation of what we're we're saying to show up, and you know the minute we start, we know we know by faith we know. That God is receiving our praise. God loves to receive our praises, uh, our worship that goes up toward Him. He He loves to receive that, and so from the get go, it's an operation of of faith. But it's but it's because we can't see Him, but we know by the Word of God, we know that He is receiving from us that which we're offering Him, and. Uh, so for me, it's just such a powerful thing to understand and know the power of grace. Whenever we uh, praise, the, uh, the power of praise, whenever we release it to God, we, He knows. He starts receiving it. He, he is in it. 
And so, man, that's just that little scripture right there is really, really powerful. You know, when when our when our hearts are all filled with with thanksgiving and praise, we 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 just begin to magnify the Lord. Uh, and there's there's spiritual forces that begun that begun to be kind of released and and, and activated around us. You can sense uh, the stirring of heaven. You can sense the the um, the urgency of 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 the atmosphere you can you can almost reach in and touch you know the the atmosphere becomes so thick really you can almost reach in and touch it you can almost feel it uh, the presence of praise and I think all of heaven turns its head and takes note of the praise this this being that is coming toward the Father. Wow. And so I just want you to kind of get a get a bit of a picture of that and um, and begin to get kind of crazy and excited about it like like I do. <clears throat> anyway, um, you know, if you've got a complaining heart and a critical spirit, well, you're gonna probably miss out on all those blessings. And if you're not, you know, if you don't have the Holy Spirit in your life, if you're not filled with the Spirit. You're less likely to to lock into those things and and that expression come up out out of you as as fully as it can, could, and so that's one of the purposes for being filled with the Holy Spirit is you want you want to be empowered to worship and praise and and give Him praises and give Him thanks giving in a in a fullness of you know at, at the very maximum level that you possibly can now. That's not to say that uh, when I was born again, just you know, when, before I received the whole baptism in the Holy Spirit, I didn't praise God. I did, and I love God, and I certainly worshipped Him and praised and worship, and and uh, I was I give Him a lot of praise then as I do now. Uh, so I'm just saying, you know, as a believer, as a born again believer, we have the ability to turn our voices. Toward God and give Him praise, and and so there's not there's not a um, a difference between us in that we 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 can we're made to praise Him, we're created to do just that, and we don't want to miss out on that. Um, just more prone sometimes I think uh, because whenever you're Operating in the spirit, I, I believe you're a little more sensitive to that atmosphere, and um, and so anyway, let me just pr- press on from there. It's 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 rather uh, than focus on circumstances. Uh, what we want to do is we want to just choose to praise, give God praise, and um, thank Him in everything, and uh, praise Him for the good. That that he you know for the good that he is and he does in our life, and so you know let his um, let his presence just be increased and the blessings begin to flow toward us uh, today. <clears throat> and so uh, I just want to kind of pump you up just a little bit in that. How powerful! How important it is to God that you that we praise Him, and to acknowledge the good that He is doing in our life, to acknowledge the blessings that we walk in every day, to not mumble and grumble and groan and gripe uh, as the ch- children of Israel did out in the desert. But even though we might be out in a dry time or in not a perfect season or in a uh, even a season of lack. Uh, we need to be able to turn on that praise, knowing <clears throat> that it's going to benefit us as well. But uh, certainly that it's going to uh, touch the heart of God and bless Him. Uh, his children, turning their voice, turning their attention to Him is just exactly what He made us to do. He created us for that purpose, 
and it's just so so important. Psalm sixty-seven. Uh, let me let me go back up to um, Proverbs eighteen twenty. Uh, you know, um, eight, th- there was a that's a there's a scripture right after that uh, at um, eighteen twenty-one, and it, it just says that death and life are in the power of the tongue. So, <clears throat> and those who um, um, and those who love it will eat the fruit of it. And so, you know, if, as we speak, as we talk, as we give praises to God, we're going to we're going to actually eat of the fruit of it. It's the benefit of God turning an ear toward us and being excited about hearing us praise Him, worship Him, uh, turn our hearts toward Him, lift our voices up toward Him. We're gonna. It, it, we're going to step into an atmosphere of where he cannot help but bless us back. And he, he loves to do that. He wants to do that. He will always do that. It's not an option. It's just he's, it's, he's going to, um, you're going to get more out of it than he probably. So let me just um, press on here. Psalms uh, 67 verse 5 and 6, it just says, uh, you know, it's just it just says, "Let the people praise, let let the people praise him." <laughs> you know, and and we uh, collectively said, "Don't uh, you know? Don't forbid. I mean, don't forsake the assembling of ourselves together. We we need to collectively get together and turn our voices up and praise him together uh, to magnify our voice going up to him." And uh, and to come into agreement and come into you know the presence of his of his praise and worship and uplifting and and praising him at times and you know if we could we could just you know stay in that mode all the time nearly and and we can we actually can stay in it a lot more than what we do because we have that choice we have that. We can have our mind praising Him while we're doing other things. We don't always have to um, lock down and do something and not pay attention to what's going on. We have lots of little idle moments um, that we can that we could turn our focus toward Him and give Him praise. And you know that that's not a uh, it's not a hard thing to do. It's not a difficult thing to do. It's uh, it's just, but it is something that we we can do and and actually should do. So you know, in order to know what uh, what's going on in our own heart, well, we should turn and listen. What what's going on in there? Is there mumbling and groaning and complaining? It's fixing to come up out of my mouth. It's and I'm gonna I'm gonna eat the fruit that my mouth produces. Uh, that's. That's very simple, like the scripture that we read a while ago. You know, First Thessalonians five eighteen says this. I'm in fact I'm I'm going to go to sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. I, I, eighteen is the key verse, but I, I believe sixteen is is an important part of it. It says, "Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks." This is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Did you hear that? It's the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you what, that, that rattles my cage just a little bit. It, it, uh, to know that whenever I praise God, I am in His perfect will. I am doing exactly what God designed me to be able to do. Is to give him praise. Wow, that that is just supernatural um, ability that he has placed in me to praise him. Wow, I love that. I, you know, praise isn't. I think I said this earlier, but praise is an act of faith. You know, I mean, think about it. You you really can't praise someone you can't see. Unless you believe that he's there, you really can't praise him 
unless it's an act of faith. And, and, and that faith, it says it's impossible to please God without faith. So whenever we turn to him in praise, we are actually functioning in, 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 a, in, in, in faith. It's, praise is spiritual. Praise and worship are deep spiritual practices. And it turns our focus toward God, turns God's focus toward us, and he receives from us the worship and the praise that we give him. And in turn, he pours out his spirit upon us. <laughs> wow. Pours out his presence and pours out his blessing. And it comes, it comes from the spirit. You can't worship God in your flesh. Um, I mean, you can, but it, we try. But it's not really, it's not really what comes from the fresh, the hand waving or the rolling around in the floor or the jumping up and down. All of that is is an expression. It, it it's us trying to trying to express ourselves, and that's good. That's that's awesome. And God loves to see the little dancing and everything. But God really doesn't look at our flesh. He looks at our heart, right? And so it's an expression of what you know. What is our heart? Our heart is where He placed the ability. You know, an eternal spirit in us. Once we're born again, we have an eternal spirit living. We're complete in our spirit man. And that spirit man is worshiping him. Once you're born again, you have, it's, it's like First John 4.18, it it's, it's says, as he is, so are we in this, in this world. I mean, while we're here on the face, not when we die and fly, but I'm talking about right now and right here. If I turn my face toward God and begin to praise Him, I am heart to heart with the living God. It's, wow. I don't know. If, if I'm not lighting your fire, your wood's wet. Uh, <laughs> you need to you'd step it up a little bit there. Anyway, um, let me just kind of, move back to the thought that it's spiritual, that it comes from the heart. It's a, it's, a, it's a heart response to the love of God. So prayer, praying in the Spirit, okay? It's one of the, one of the wonderful things that we have by being spirit feel is that we can pray in the Spirit. We can, we can speak, speak in tongues, but we can also pray in tongues. And it is a wonderful expression to God. He loves to listen to you just pray by His Spirit. It's, it's, it's the spiritual words coming from Him to me and out to Him. Wow. I just, that's, that's, over, that's over the top right there. I mean, just think about it. It's God's. God's holy words coming, a heavenly language coming into your singing and praising and uplifting God. And He, the Holy Spirit, is, is expressing Himself through us to God, and God is receiving it. And, and, and I mean, this is this wonderful interplay of, of spiritual movement all because we've chose to praise him. <laughs> Man, I'm just telling you, I'm getting excited more and more and more. Um, let me take my glasses off so I can read what I wrote here. Pro, uh, Proverbs, okay, the 18, that death and life are, are, are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it are going to eat the fruit of it. And so whenever we, whenever we open our mouth and we begin to give praise, whether it's, you know, and, and imagine giving him praise by singing or praying in the spirit, mm, man, I'm just I'm just so excited about this. I'm, I'm beside myself, but it's it just it's just such an honor, such a glorious privilege to pray by by the spirit through the spirit 
to God Almighty. Wow. And so I just I just want to encourage you to, to step into uh, the blessings of God by by just exercising the opportunity to give him praise all the time. Whoever you are, everybody I'm I'm talking to can 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 give him praise no matter what. And you can you do it by the Spirit. You do it by the the very heart of God. It it all flows through faith through you're believing that there really is a God and you're extending your praise toward him and stepping into the, the blessings that he wants for you, stepping into what he created, designed, and made you for. So it, that's so wonderful. It just really is. You know, I, I kind of think back about... Uh, the times in my life whenever I wasn't grateful, that I wasn't operating in praying about, you know, being thankful. My, my Thanksgiving um, somehow was not, not working very good. My praise wasn't, wasn't welling up in me and coming out and expressing itself through my mouth, extending it to God and you know, I, I I feel I feel a very big void um, thinking about those time how how I could have been you know encouraged lifted up I, I didn't have to go through those disappointing times that I was experiencing you know that praying in the spirit the Bible says if we pray in the spirit it's one of the big advantages of being filled with, with, with the Holy Spirit and being able to pray in the Spirit is, is this. It says that it will build you up in your most holy faith. It will build your faith in you. So faith comes by hearing, hearing by the Word of God. So we can build ourselves up with the Word of God. If anybody that's born again can read the Word of God and it will build their faith. And we'll be able to believe the things that are written down here. But once you become filled with the Holy Spirit, now then, when you pray in the Spirit, when you when you give yourself over to that, now then, it says that you build yourself up in your most holy faith. You begin to to take take hold of what God has for you and put it into your spirit, and it comes up and out of your mouth, and it starts expressing itself through thanksgiving. Man, I'm just telling you that that if for no other reason you have never considered being filled with the Holy Spirit, consider it today because you. I, I just want so much for you to be able to pray in the Spirit, to to enter into that, that praise that's beyond uh, what you've experienced before. I just know how wonderful it is, how important it is, and how powerful it is. And so I told you I was going to be short and sweet, and uh, I plan to just kind of honor that with you right now. And so I'm, I'm really going to just begin to pray over you, and I just, I just want to pray um, that everybody in the sound of my voice this week will just turn aside for, for some time, devote a little time to just praise, just praise. Just this, just this simple honoring God by giving him praise. And just see if, you're, if you won't step into that a whole other atmosphere, a whole other, an, an entirely different attitude will come upon you. And, and faith will rise up in you. Uh, because you've heard it preached, you've heard the word of God, you've you've heard the good news, and the good news is that we can praise Him and express our love to Him, and He hears us. <laughs> my goodness. So, Father, I just pray for everybody in the sound of my voice tonight. I thank you, Lord Jesus. You do give us ears to hear. 
Every every sheep you have, every person that is born again can hear your voice. And Father, just tune tune us in to your to your broadcast channel here so that we can really hear what you're saying all the time. Just give us ears to hear what the Spirit is doing and saying. Give us a voice to praise you and give you honor and glory in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Well, a um, couple of things. I want you to just remember that uh, Israel still needs our prayer. Uh, there's still lots of things going on. Netanyahu was in the States. He gave a wonderful presentation to our joint uh, Congress. And uh, I think it was fabulous what he did. I'm not sure how many of our people um, really got into what what that means and what, what he offered and what he was saying. But I know some of us do, and so I'm thankful for that. And I give him praise for that because he, we want to continue to pray for Israel. And if you have any need, if you want prayer for something, if you want to be led by, by, by the Holy Spirit to, to be filled with, with the Spirit, be empowered by, by what I was talking about tonight, uh, then just call this number. And uh, we have people on that, that, that speak English and Spanish, and, and we, can, we can minister to you. If you'll give us a call, let us know, and, uh, and we can pray through with you. To get uh, some, if you have some other needs, uh, you have a loved one, or or you have somebody that's sick, or or any any kind of need at all, will you just call that number and we'll we'll minister and pray pray for you. So, until next week, we we just say God bless you and keep you, and just uh, uh, have a wonderful day. And if you can, we'll like us and. Push, push the little buttons down there. That always helps us to uh, improve the logarithm where, where more people can find us. And so that's awful, awful helpful. So thank you very much. And we'll see you next week. Next Every Thursday night at 7 o'clock, be here. <laughs> and if you can't be here, well, then listen to the, to, to, to the uh, afterplay. It, uh, it, uh, these little things kind of go up and, and get going. So... If you enjoyed the show today, be sure and get the download and the uh, show notes that we have available for you. If you agree that this is place to be, invite your friends. Use those little buttons to uh, connect us to your Facebook friends and others. And if you have not subscribed, do it today. Check out our free downloads. This is the Fred Hughes Show signing off.